Good morning, everybody. So this morning we are not doing a flip cup. I want to show y'all how I do my crackle series. Um, I have a lot of people ask me if I use the glue um, as a pouring medium, and I don't. I only time I ever use glue is when I actually want the crackled effect. So this is a um, flash. This is going to be, um, it's going to have a flash silhouette on it once it's done. So um, this is what I call my crackle series where it has all of the cracks. So that one's a flash. Um, this one is going to be a red hood once it's done. So this again, and then I cut my own patterns on my scroll saw. And so we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna show y'all how to do the crackle series. So this is a half inch solid MDF board. It has been prepped with a base coat of the Deco Art Americana Lamp Ebony Black. Whatever you prep your board with is going to be what is seen whenever the cracks happen. So as the glue dries, it's going to split, and we're just going to use regular Elmer school glue. Um, I think I got this one at um, either Michael's or Home Depot. I can't remember which, um, but I'll put the link down in the description um, to where you can purchase it on Amazon if you can't find it locally. The other colors we're going to use are going to be the primary yellow from Deco Art and then the Dazzling Metallics Zinc, just to give us a little bit of definition. And um, before you start doing this, make sure you have all of your colors ready, because as soon as you put the glue on the board, um, you only have about a minute working time before it starts to dry and it um, will start pulling and you're not going to get good cracks. So what you're going to need is... <clears throat> of course, a prepped board. I have never tried this on canvas. I have only ever done this on MDF, so I will try it on canvas to see how it looks, but um, right now I've only ever done it on MDF. So you're going to use your need your prepped board, school glue, a foam brush, whatever you want your colors to be, so have them out and ready to go. And you're also just going to need a paper towel to clean your blush brush off between strokes. And that is it. So we're not going to do any music or anything that today because I want to be able to talk y'all through how to do this. Okay, so kind of we're going to do step by step. Step one was getting your board prepped and ready to go. Make sure it is fully dried. And, oh, I've got two brushes out. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to the next step. So you're going to take your glue. And you're just going to pour your glue onto your board. Now, the thicker you make the glue, the bigger your cracks are going to be. So if you want really fine, thin, delicate cracks, then you're gonna, not going to put a big layer on. If you want bigger cracks, you're going to put more glue on. Okay? So we're just going to pour our glue on. Now, this one's going to be Batman themed, so we do want quite a bit of cracks. And spread your glue out. Remember, your glue is going to dry clear. And it's going to look really messy. Once you get your glue on, make sure it's nice and smoothed out. Now, again, you're going to want to work quick because your glue is going to start drying pretty quick. Make sure you pay attention to your size as usual. <clears throat> All right. Once you get your glue, a nice layer, see how it's starting to pull? You're going to take your paint and just drop your paint on. So this is going to be my major color is yellow. I want the black showing through the yellow. And then we're just going to slightly, very lightly, without a lot of pressure on the brush, brush that glue or brush that paint over the glue. You're not trying to mix it. You're just trying to get this paint to go over on a good layer of the glue. Okay, and then I'm going to drop a little bit of black on here, just a few drops in different places. And then also I'm going to drop a little bit of zinc on.
and then a little bit more yellow because we still want yellow to be our primary color. And then we are just going to slowly do brush strokes and pull those out. And a little bit more yellow to break up some of that. And here's whenever I'm going to clean off my brush. So I'm just going to pull some of that off of it. There we go. Because I just want the yellow and there was already black on the brush. Now that it's finally warm enough here in Texas, well, let's say it's warm enough. It's winter at night, spring in the morning, summer in the afternoon, and fall in the evening. It's, it's that lovely time of year in Texas where we get all four seasons in one day. I can finally get back out on my scroll saw and not freeze or burn up. So, okay, so we are going to let this uh, dry where it's at. Now, if you wanted to, you can hit it with your heat gun to start the cracks. So if you take your heat gun, I don't know if you can see it we have separation that's starting here so where it's separating that is where you're going to see the black coming through so a lot of these places where you still see white streaks that is going to dry clear so you're going to see your black coming through and then also the paint is going to split so we have splits starting here there's going to be a big split right there so sometimes if i'm in a hurry or i'm trying to get a lot done during um one day i will hit it with the heat gun to start that process but because this is the morning and we, we are going to let this dry during the day, um, we're not going to worry about that. So we are going to let this dry and then we are going to head out to the scroll saw to get our uh, silhouette topper cut. See y'all out there. Hi, everybody. So we are out here at the scroll saw and we have our Batman pattern. So it's, it's ready to go. It is on quarter inch MDF. And what I did is I just printed the pattern on my printer. And because of its size, it was printed on four different pieces of eight by 10 or um, eight and a half by 11 paper. And then I just cut it all up. And as you can see here, I just taped it all together and then put down some blue painter's tape. So just laid down some blue painter's tape onto this MDF. And then I used, whoop, that's fallen. And then I used this multi-purpose 3M super adhesive. And I just sprayed the paper and then stuck it on. And so now that we have that on there, we're just going to give it a quick cut on our scroll saw. I'm going to switch out the blade. So for this cut, we're going to use an ultra reverse number five. Ultra reverse means that the teeth um, go in both directions. So I'm going to try and see if y'all can see these. So as you can see, the teeth go up and they go down. So that way they actually cut in both directions as the blade is moving. Now you just have regular blades like this is just a really large number nine. You can see all the teeth just go one direction. So it only cuts going one direction. I like to use ultra reverse blades because they give you a cleaner cut and they also give you a faster cut. So I'm going to go ahead and put this blade in. Okay, so now we've got our blade all set. I don't know if y'all can hear that noise. 
other than the dog's barking. Um, I'm just testing the blade for its its tightness. So whenever you flick the blade, it's going to give you um, a high pitch noise, and that lets you know that your blade is tight enough and it's not going to bend during your cutting. Um, the Batman symbol is a really, really easy, really basic symbol to cut on the scroll saw. If you want to get into scroll sawing and you want you want a pattern to cut on, this is actually a great one because you have um, you have your curves and all that kind of stuff, and you have your points. So it's a really good pattern to practice on. So we are going to go ahead and get this cut. Okay, that's it. So our Batman symbol is all done. Um, it's all cut, so we're going to take off the pattern and the tape. Right. I got to cut this pattern later today. So now that that is um, cut, I want to go ahead and get it sanded down. So we are going to grab our um, sander. So we've got everything reset. Um, I've grabbed my sander here and a couple of pieces of sandpaper that apparently I misplaced somewhere. Okay, so we are gonna use um, 220 grit and then a 320 grit. Okay, that is it. We are going to clean this um, up with some alcohol back in the office, and I will see you back there. Okay, we are back inside. We are going to use a rag to clean um, the dust off of this, and we are just going to use some denatured alcohol. So I'm just using this 91% or isopropyl alcohol just to clean them up. All right, we are gonna let that evaporate.
All right, the next step after that is all dried is we are just gonna go ahead and get it painted. We are gonna use the Deco Art Americana Lamp Ebony Black. And we are just gonna use a foam brush to paint it on. Okay, we're going to let that dry, and then when we come back, we are going to put it all together. See y'all soon. All right, everything is dried, so I put two coats of the Krylon Spray Lacquer. This is my go-to lacquer for everything. Um, I know it works well with any type of acrylic paints, and it has no reaction to polycrylic or resin. So that is um, my lacquer I use. I get it at Lowe's, but you can also... Um, I have a link down in the description where you can purchase it there on Amazon. So we are going to go ahead and get this built. Um, the Batman symbol is just going to go right there. So I am going to grab my wood glue. All right, we're just going to use the um, Gorilla wood glue. Okay, and I just have a foam brush here. I'm just going to kind of brush this around. <coughs> Kitty toe, please don't. Okay, that is it. We are gonna leave it just like that and we are gonna let it dry. Hold on one second. Okay, um, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section and I will do my best to get back to you. Um, this one is headed to the comic book store, but um, I can always recreate it. So I'll have it on my uh, website as well as my Etsy page. Check down in the description for all of the links to Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, website. And I'm also going to add my uh, Etsy page on there. I'm, I'm working with that a little bit more. And so we'll see um, we'll see how it goes. But uh, again, thank you all very much for watching. Um, I have some other stuff that might be coming up. Uh, other items that I got done for the comic book store. Like this Goku um, I have done. And I also have uh, the Wonder... Or not Wonder Woman... The Captain Marvel video should either have already been posted or is coming up. So stay tuned for that, or I hope you enjoyed it. If it's already up, I don't know when I'm going to schedule my videos to be uploaded, but um, that's it. So um, if y'all want to see more things like this, just let me know. 
Um, I'm also, now that it's, it's getting to be summertime, I can do more hydro dipping and I'm working on doing more tumblers. So this is a Captain Marvel tumbler and then this is actually a Deadpool shaker bottle. And so I hydro dip everything. If that's something you would like to see, also let me know. And maybe I can do some, some hydro dipping videos and that kind of thing. So that's it. Again, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful and blessed day. And God bless.